Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 8 on residues. We are discussing some examples on Cauchy's residue theorem from last 3 or 4 lectures. So today also we are doing this problem on Cauchy's residue theorem. So we are asked to integrate function tan z over z square minus 1 counterclockwise around the circle with center origin and radius 3 by 2 that is mod z equal to 3 by 2. So first we denote given function by f of z. Suppose tan z over z square minus 1 is denoted by f of z. Now we can rewrite tan z as sin z over z square minus 1. Tan z is written as sin z over cos z. Now uh, we can see this sin z is analytic everywhere, z square minus 1 is also analytic everywhere and cos z is also analytic everywhere. So f of z will not be analytic at those points for which z square minus 1 becomes 0 and cos z becomes 0. So z square minus 1 is 0 if z equal to plus or minus 1 and cos z is 0 at odd multiples of pi by 2 that is if z is plus or minus pi by 2 plus or minus 3 pi by 2 plus or minus 5 pi by 2 and so on. So uh, we have our function f of z which is not analytic at all these points. So we can write that f of z is not analytic at z equal to plus or minus 1 and at this odd multiples of pi by 2 z equal to plus or minus pi by 2 plus or minus 3 pi by 2 plus or minus 5 pi by 2 and so on or we can simply write z equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 where n is any integer. So f of z is not analytic at infinite number of points but our uh, contour is circle with center origin and uh, radius 3 by 2. So suppose we consider this circle and suppose this distance is 3 by 2 and suppose this is approximately 1 so this is going to be minus 1. Now pi by 2 will be outside this circle okay, because pi by 2 is always greater than 3 by 2, 3 pi by 2. So uh, we can see this is valid if pi is greater than 3. Okay, we require only 3 by 2 here. So because pi is greater than 3, pi by 2 is greater than 3 by 2. That means this z equal to plus or minus pi by 2 will be outside this circle somewhere here uh, 3 by 2 suppose pi by 2 is somewhere here so minus pi by 2 will be somewhere here. Similarly 3 pi by 2 will be outside this contour and minus 3 pi by 2 will also be outside this contour and we are interested at the singularities which are inside the simple closed contour which is given as mod z equal to 3 by 2. So f of z is having all these points as its singular points z equal to plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 pi by 2 in general odd multiples of pi by 2 are singularities of f of z but all these singularities are outside the contour. So we don't have to worry about all these singularities because we are interested in the singularities of f of z which are inside the given contour. So uh, we can say that z equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 all these singularities lie outside the circle mod z equal to 3 by 2 and uh, uh, therefore 
f of z is analytic at all points inside and on inside and on a circle mode z equal to 3 by 2 except two points z equal to 1 and minus 1 uh, which lies inside this circle mode z equal to 3 by 2 so we have to worry about these two singular points only z equal to 1 and minus 1 which are inside this simple close contour mode z equal to 3 by 2 so now uh, we have to find out residues of f of z at these two points so first we find out residue of f of z at z equal to 1 now f of z is tan z over z square minus 1 so this we can rewrite as tan z over z minus 1 times z plus 1 this we can again rewrite as z minus 1 in the denominator and tan z over z plus 1 in the numerator so therefore f of z is expressed as phi of z over z minus 1 where phi of z is nothing but tan z over z plus 1 and it is analytic at z equal to 1 phi of z is tan z over z plus 1 which is analytic at z equal to 1 and value of phi at z equal to 1 will be value of tan function at 1 divided by 2 and this is non-zero so f of z is written as phi of z over z minus 1 to the power 1 where phi of z is analytic at z equal to 1 and phi of 1 is non-zero at z equal to 1 so that shows that f of z has a pole of order 1 at z equal to 1 or f of z has a simple pole at z equal to 1 and residue of f of z at z equal to 1 will be equal to value of function phi at z equal to 1 and which we have obtained as tan 1 divided by 2 so we denote this residue by say p1 similarly we find out residue at z equal to minus 1 so in this case we rewrite our function f of z which is tan z over z square minus 1 that is z minus 1 into z plus 1 now we are interested at z equal to minus 1 so we rewrite this function in this form now tan z over z minus 1 divided by z plus 1 and we denote this function by phi of z divided by z plus 1 so it is clear that phi of z equal to tan z over z minus 1 is analytic at z equal to minus 1 and value of phi at z equal to minus 1 will be equal to tan of minus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 now tan of minus 1 is minus tan 1 divided by minus 2 so therefore this is going to be tan 1 divided by 2 and it is non-zero so f of z is expressed as phi of z over z plus 1 to the power 1 where phi of z is analytic at z equal to minus 1 and value of phi at z equal to minus 1 is non-zero that shows that f of z has a simple pole or pole of order 1 at z equal to minus 1 and residue of 
f of z at z equal to minus 1 will be equal to value of function phi at z equal to minus 1 which we have obtained as 10 1 divided by 2 so this is residue at z equal to minus 1 which is denoted by b suffix 2 so we have obtained residues of f of z at both the singular points which are inside the simple loss contour mode z equal to 3 by 2 so now uh, we can apply Cauchy's residue theorem so now by Cauchy's residue theorem integral of f of z along the contour mode z equal to 3 by 2 this is equal to 2 pi i times sum of residues so residues are b1 and b2 and both are having same values b1 was 10 1 by 2 and b2 is also 10 1 by 2 so this is going to be 10 1 by 2 plus 10 1 by 2 that is 2 pi i into 10 1 so this is the value of integral of function tan z over z square minus 1 dz along the contour mode z equal to 3 by 2 in counterclockwise direction and the value is 2 pi i times tan 1 okay, so here now it is very easy to find out value of this complex integral so in this way uh, we can apply Cauchy's residue theorem to evaluate complex integrals but we should remember that uh, our function must satisfy the hypothesis of Cauchy's theorem uh, which is required that f of z is analytic at all points inside and on a given contour except finite number of points here f of z is analytic at all points inside and on the circle except finite number of points which are 2 here so that is required in Cauchy's residue theorem and you must be able to find out residue of f of z at those singular points so this is all about this lecture i hope you like it thank you very much